Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Sorry I've been so MIA lately. I am super sick. I'm finally at the verge where I can make videos, but I just, oh my god, I was down for the count for like a week. It was awful. I got off of work. Lots of things happened in my personal life um, that were just really, really, you know, sad. My grandma passed away. Um, so I had that. I had being sick. It was just all a hot mess. So anyway, I have been wanting to order from this company for a long time. Got it in last week during the mess of it all and didn't really get a chance to play around with it. But now that my life is semi-normal right now, I figured I would go ahead and make a video. This is by a brand called Southbound Soap Company. Handcrafted body products and home fragrance by Rachel Wales. Um, Rachel is from Tennessee, I want to say. Um, and if I cough, I'm sorry. My throat's been like acting really weird. I can still smell, so that's good. But anyway, I uh, this was her restock. She did it last Sunday, which was October 29th, I want to say, at like <coughs> 1 or 3 p.m. 1 p.m., I think, our time, Eastern Standard Time. So she does her restocks. She does restocks and pre-orders ready to ship. Um, this was all ready to ship, so she had a port. Apparently, her stuff sells out super, 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 super quick. Um, I didn't have that problem at all. I got every single thing that I wanted on my list. I've been binge-watching every video from Southbound Soap Company, reviews from Liz, Lindsay Love, everybody that you can think of that talked about Southbound Soap Company, I've watched their videos. So I had an idea of what I wanted to try, and then some scents that I just wanted to try on my own. So she was ready to ship. Like I said, her stuff sells out pretty quick. I got it um, last week, Friday, I want to say. I don't know. It was right at the cusp of a week, so it was pretty good. But we'll start with our sample. What makes her wax apparently so unique is it's super strong. I believe about a two-month cure time is what people recommend. That's what I think. I'm not 100% sure. If you have a good cure time, let me know down below, but I think about two months is what I'm going to let this stuff cure before I melt it. But apparently her stuff is really strong, and the less the better with all of her stuff. But her logo, her font, her colors of her wax, everything is what made me really want to order. She puts a ton of work into all of her products, which is what I really like. Um, do I have a picture of what the box looked like with the wrapping? I still do. Yes. So, this is what her packaging looked like. It said, thank you for supporting a small business. So, it was really cute. But it had beautiful wrapping. I really, really like that. So, there's that. But anyway... Let's go ahead and get on to the items. The first one I got is a sample. And another thing that I love about her stuff is she has the name, the description, and the pour date all on one label. No other company does that, which is really convenient. Although I think Zape Bath does, but I haven't tried her stuff yet. Um, yeah. So, anyway, the sample that I got was Sugared Snow. So it says Bergamot. Frosted Ivy, Wild Berries, Winter Roses, Vanilla Musk, and a Sweet Pop of Spun Sugar. This was poured on October 23rd. So it'll be right around Christmas Eve. It'll be ready to melt. And if you can see, it's really pretty. This is very, very floral. And I'm glad that the sugared snow isn't pink sugar. I don't love pink sugar. I'm one of those odd people. Like, I can get a blend here and there, but it is not one that I'm like, woohoo, pink sugar. I don't like it, and I hate blue sugar. Whoa. But this smells really good. It's really floral, but it has that really sweetness, like a cotton candy type sweetness, which is the sponge sugar. I really like it. But her wax is super, super cute, too. And, like, when I melt it, I will just melt this one cube, and it'll be apparently super strong. So then I ordered one bakery bag. Um, that was the only thing that I really wanted to try in bakery bags that I knew I had to get. This is Witching Hour. It's Campfire Smoke and Sweet Gooey Marshmallow Cream. Now, Marshmallow Fireside. But this, to me, doesn't smell exactly like Marshmallow Fireside. It smells a little bit smokier. Yeah, it definitely smells a lot more smoky fire than, like, a sweet fire, which I really like. I like that it is unique. Now, her shapes are absolutely adorable. So first, we have this little cute pumpkin. And what I like about this scent is it can be melted in the winter and fall because of the smoky sweet, but it can also be melted in the summer because of fire and campfire marshmallows. So that's why I love this scent. So this guy is a little skeleton. These waxes are so cute. 
This guy I absolutely love. This little pumpkin with his hat. I'll probably cut this in half. It's a larger one. Then we have a little ghost. And then we have two of these guys, a small and a larger one. I love him with his little uh, separated teeth. I think those are so cute. And then we have this crazy looking skull. Look at him. He's like a 3D skull. And then we have three of these guys. These are little skeleton heads. So super cute. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm so excited to melt this. This was poured on 10-11, so this will be ready like December 11th. So two months is pretty good. Um, like I said, my VCS, I, like, I want to cure for a year. So I want to try a bunch of other brands in the meantime while I'm letting her stuff cook up in my drawers, basically. So there's that. And then I got pumpkin cream puffs. Now, I didn't realize that this wasn't a six-pack a a six until I ordered it. It's not a big deal. So pumpkin cream puffs. This is sweet pumpkin, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream, confectioner sugar, and a hint of spice. Let me tell you, this is amazing. This is getting saved for next fall. Look how adorable this is. And it is humongous. Like, it is huge. Let me see. I have a typical scent shot here. This is Camels by Victoria. This is a typical scent shot. It's huge. I will definitely cut this into a bunch of pieces. But when I first smelled this, I thought it was going to be creamy like pumpkin no this legit smells like puff pastry cream puffs like cream puff 100 percent and pumpkin i don't get like a super super spiciness out of this which i'm glad i don't love super spicy scents as you'll see later in the video this is just amazing like it smells like legit cream puffs and if i knew i was gonna love this so much i would have ordered like five pumpkins it is so good but i'm so glad that i have one um and always order next year so then we'll talk about six packs her six packs range in different shapes they're all five dollars um and three of them i got in two i got two six packs of because i i knew i was gonna love them so let's get started the first one is cranberry woods so this is tart cranberry cinnamon bark forest cedar and golden amber so they're little chunks like this. And they have gold glitter on them. They're two-toned. And like I said, I got two six-packs in this scent. I was like, if this is going to smell like the Bath & Body Works Cranberry Woods Candle, I'm done. Because I love that scent so much. And it does. It's a little tartar, um, but it's very similar. I know for a fact... I'm not in focus. Here we go. Focus on here. And then focus on me. There we go. Um... I know with um, some cure time, it'll probably smell exactly the same because it smells almost identical right now. Um, and this was port 924, so this will be ready in a couple weeks, which I'm really excited about. And then I got two packs of almond cookies. I have heard so much about these scents. I knew I had to have them. Toasted almond, rich vanilla cream, cookie dough, and sweet spices. This smells awesome. And the almond, you know how sometimes an almond smell will be overpowering and that's all you smell? I smell a cookie, like an actual almond cookie. And this guy is a little flower, and he has some gold glitter on there. It smells awesome, you guys. I really love this. It's going to be great. It's just a really comforting scent. Put this on maybe before you go to work, and then when you come home, your house just smells like you've been baking cookies all day. And then the last one that I got two six-packs in is Soda Pop Shop. Lindsay Love says this is her favorite Soda Pop scent. Um, Notorious Liz said this is her favorite Soda Pop scent. I love Fizzy Pop, so I knew I had to smell it. This is Classic Lemon Lime Soda Pop blended with sugary strawberry soda and fizzy orange soda. I mean, who wouldn't love that? And these are adorable. So we have the Lime Green Crystals orange and red wax and this is awesome sometimes fizzy pop is the only thing that you smell and it literally overpowers the entire scent this is not like that at all at all it's so yummy it's so fresh i can picture me melting this right in the heat of summer and it just filling up my entire house like putting literally three of these one upstairs one downstairs and one like i don't know in the garage so the whole entire house smells like this. It is so good. It is so fresh, so fruity. I don't see how anybody could be in a bad mood with this scent. It's really yummy. 
Ugh. So then I got four six packs that are just, um, I just got one set of. This is Candy Cane Cupcakes. Now, I'm not pulling this one out because it's all the way on the bottom, but look how cute. A little uh, candy cane. So this one says buttercream frosted cupcakes and sugared vanilla beans topped with pieces of crushed candy canes. This is not as strong as I thought it would be. But it also was just poured on the 22nd of October, so it still has about, you know, a month and a half left. So this guy has some green and white, or red and white glitter. And it smells like a vanilla cupcake with just crushed candy canes on the top. It's not like overpowered peppermint oil, which I really like. It's not super strong. It's not what I expected. I expected it to be... <coughs> Really strong on peppermint. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was going to actually crank out, like, five or six videos today, but I think I'm only going to do two. <laughs> and this guy is Tropical Fizz. This is Tropical Fruits, Sugar Oranges, Lemons, and Limes, which is Volcano Type, which is one of my favorite scents. That's from Capri Blue. They sell it in Anthropology, all kinds of places. I love that scent. And Bahama Fizz. Bahama Fizz was a blue candle that came out at Bath & Body Works years ago. Absolutely loved it, but it burned like crap, and then I never saw it again. So I'm happy that this is here. And I can equally smell both. It's a great volcano dupe. Smells exactly like the candle. Sugary citrus, a little bit of green notes. And then the Bahama Fizz. I can't even describe how Bahama Fizz smells, because it just smells like you would think. It smells like a typical Bath & Body Works fruity uh, scent with fizzy. I don't know. It's great. I love it. So that was Tropical Fizz. I also love how her bags store. I love that they store flat like that. That makes life so much easier for them. And then I got Caramelized Praline Cookie Dough. So this is warm vanilla caramel, dark brown sugar, butter-drenched pecans, and sweet sugar cookie dough. This is strong on the caramel. To me, this smells like caramel nuts. Like when you're at the mall and they're roasting peanuts there, that's all you can smell. And that's what it smells like, like dead on. It's incredible. And this guy has some gold glitter. It's also two-toned. But what's crazy about her glitter is like, look, it doesn't come off. That's amazing to me. I love that. Oh, and it smells so good. It, to be honest, it actually smells like cookie dough too. It's amazing how true to life her scents are like honestly and then the last six pack that i have is breakfast cookies fruity pebbles and vanilla sugar cookie dough with marshmallow icing i love this it's fruity pebbles for sure to me these look like little like cookies with icing on top isn't that cute with a little bit of glitter it smells so good it smells like fruity pebbles has the marshmallow. I can smell cookie dough. I can smell everything. And each one is like separate in it. You can actually smell each one easily. I love that. And that smells so good. <coughs> and last but not least, I'm already at 13 minutes, so I'm not going to go too much in depth. This is her Christmas sampler. This was $22. They are two ounce scent shots. Um, all I would do is cut them in half um, and melt one ounce each. One ounce is what you typically want to melt in a warmer. There was, what, there was 20, there was 12, right? One, two, three, four, five, ten. There was ten and it was $22. Um, this, I believe how it works is she did the sampler and then she's going to do a pre-order of bakery bags in all these scents, I think, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. So, Southbound Soap Company Home Fragrance Christmas Sampler. Then she has the name right there. And what I did for convenience is I got a little label on my computer and I typed the scent descriptions and I stuck them on the inside of the label so I know what it is. So this is Juicy Bubblegum, Cotton Candy, Apples, Pear, Sugar Candy, Lemon Drops, and Madagascar Vanilla, aka Lush Snow Fairy type. I don't love Snow Fairy, but it's whatever. This is what I'm talking about. Now these come out really easily out of the cup, so I'm going to hold them out of the cup, but look at how beautiful that is. Pink with glitter and a little... Oh, and it smells just like Snow Fairy. Super candy, bubblegum type smell. Then we have Frosty. 
which is elderberries, blackberries, plums, and fizzy pop with a hint of cool mint. This guy's a little frosty on top. I love this. The first thing I smell is fizzy pop and mint. But then as I smell it, I smell some pine. So I don't know if that's the elderberries, blackberries, and plums mixing together that's smelling like pine to me. But it smells very much like a pine tree with mint. I don't know. It's interesting. And I love that her, like, cups just snap on really easily. Vintage Christmas. I do not like this one. Ribbon candy, spiced tea, a hint of cinnamon, and a flower shop at Christmas. To me, this smells like walking into Michael's, pack of tans, any of those craft stores. Oh, it is so strong on cinnamon flowers. Oh, I don't like that at all. But if you look, he's the cutest one. He has a little gingerbread. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might melt it. Like, like I said, let it cure. See how it does in the warmer. If I don't really like it that much, I'll save the half and give it to somebody. But it's cute. That's all I care about. So this one is frozen. And this one, lemon, peppermint, spearmint, and buttercream with notes of menthol. I love this. If you can take a look, it has like swirled colors in it, which is really cool. Oh, you can really smell the menthol. Now see, if this was ready to cure, I would pop this in my warmer right now. I can smell the menthol. I can smell peppermint. I'm not really getting any lemon. To me, this smells just like Chris Tingle from Lush. Like, just like it. I really like that, though. This, definitely getting a couple bakery bags in, just for the sole purpose of saving when you're sick. In the summer, it doesn't matter. Getting a big bakery bag, just throwing one in the warmer. I think I'm going to get two of these for sure. Then we have Winter Palace. And this one. Pink sugar, plums, pink... Not pink sugar plums. Pink sugar plums, dark cherries, and sweet oranges with peppery woody undertones. So this one has some glitter on the top, and it's a half and half. I don't like this. It smells like pink sugar. It's... <coughs> That's all I can detect from it. Maybe a little bit of a sweet fruitiness in it, but I smell the pink sugar, and I don't really like that. <laughs> this one is Silent Night. And Silent Night... Juicy plums, lemon rinds, bergamot, blackberry juice, sweet violet petals, white sandalwood, and creamy vanilla. So it has some blue here. Look at how pretty that is. I really like this. To me, this smells like a Bath & Body Works lotion. And I can't think of what it is. But it definitely smells like a Bath & Body Works lotion. I don't know which one it is. Like I said. But it has to be one of their Christmas lotions to me. But it's yummy. I like that. Next is Naughty or Nice. Japanese grapefruit, spring melons, rose, lotus blossoms, lily of the valley with notes of bamboo and white musk. This is really pretty. This smells very floral. If you don't like florals, you're not going to like this. I do like florals, but that's just me. Yeah, it's very floral. Um, I can smell lily of the valley and the bamboo. I like it, though. Sorry if I'm, like, rushing through these. Like I said, I just need to get this video out because I don't feel good at all. Oh, Christmas tree. Pine, fresh lime, cardamom, and pepper with notes of scotch pine. Look at how adorable this is. It has the Christmas tree on it. It's red and green. To me, this just smells like a pine tree. Like, I don't smell anything else but Christmas tree. Yeah. Maybe a little lime. Maybe a little bit. But... Yeah, to me it just smells like a Christmas tree. Two more. Elf treats. This one was my... one. I knew as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm going to love this. Candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup with effervescent spicy soda pop bubbles. This one has a little ribbon candy on it with some glitter, and it's just green. This smells like spicy pop. It's weird, with candy canes and sweetness. Sweet, minty candy cane. I don't know. It's very odd, but it smells so good. Yeah, it smells so good. I don't know. I love it, though. It's crazy. And then the last one is Santa's Snacks. Which, delicious blend of freshly baked sugar cookies, sweet and sugar milk, and a dollop of whipped cream. Whoops. This guy looks like a cookie drizzled with red and green icing. And to me, it smells just like a sugar cookie. Just like a sugar cookie. Really sweet. I really like that. That was it.
<laughs> I hate to rush towards the end, but like I said, I'm getting so stuffed up. I just needed to make this video and talk about how cute everything is. Now I'm going to put it all away, take some DayQuil, and try to watch some TV and relax. Ugh, I hate being sick. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if you like Southbound, what you've tried, what I should try next, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.